Now let us see how to solve this problem. This is a dome structure with the circular columns and a tie beam here. The height of these columns are 7 meters with the tie beam in the middle and this is a dome of uh, the bottom radius that is 15 meters and uh, we have 16 columns and the spear radius is 20 meters and of course this bottom radius is 15 meters. Let us see how to solve this one. I'll set new project, space, meters and kilonewtons. I'll retain that. Let me say finish. Now I'll go to the geometry. I'll get this kind of structure from the structure wizard. Let us go to frame models. Let us go to surface models and plate models. Now here we have that kind of structure. Now you can get this one. So what I'll do here is I'll go for a spherical cap option and the diameter of the sphere is 20. I'll retain this and the base diameter of the structure that we wanted I'll make this as 15 and the divisions in terms of latitude I'll retain this as 10 and the divisions in longitude I'll make them as 16 and I'll take the full circle that is 0 to 360. Now I'll say apply. So this is the kind of dome we have and I'll say transfer. Yes. Now this is what we have transferred. Let me show that in the front view. This is what we have. Now here we are supposed to have a column and then after drawing a column we are supposed to rotate that one column along this node number. Let us do that. Now I'll take this node and I'll say copy and I'll paste that node in Y minus 7. I'll say OK. So this is the node we have. Now I'll say right click add beam that is add beam element and I'll add it like this. Now I'll select this member I will say insert node at the midpoint. I'll say OK. Let us understand this node number. This node number is 161. Now I'll select this column. I'll go to geometry, circular repeat about 161 and I will say the number of steps I'll make this as 16 and before that I'll say link steps and open base link steps means I'll get a ring beam here here and a tie beam here and I don't want any beam at the bottom so the open base will be helpful for not getting a beam at the bottom now I'll make this a 16 like this and we will rotate this column about node number 161 and the axis of rotation is Y now I'll say OK. Now this is the kind of structure that we get and let us understand what we have now. Now this is the ring beam that I'm talking and this is the tie beam that we wanted. Now these plate colors are in cyan color. Let me change those colors to something blue. I'll go to labels and here I'll go to structure and here you have plates. The default color of the plate is cyan color. Now I have to double click this and change the color of this. Let me do that now. I have made this default plate color as red and let me make this default plate backside color as blue. I'll say OK. I'll say OK and say apply and say OK. Now this plate color on this side is red and if you turn it to the other side this appears as blue. Let me show that one. If 
you take this plate and if you say new view so this is the plate and let me go to labels structure fill plates so this is the color that you get and if you turn the plate like this the color on the other side will be blue color on this side it will be red color now let us say display whole structure so these are the plates and if you see on the other side like this you will have blue color this is only for visualization purpose and uh, you know now we can understand that we are seeing the dome from the bottom and uh, if we do like this now we are seeing the dome from the top this is only for uh, the this is only for visualization purpose it will not change the results or the design in any way now let us proceed from here now we got the columns now let us keep properties now I'll say define I'll say circular columns of 0.45 meters diameter and I'll give 0.45 or 0.38 by 0.23 for the ring beam and tie beam and then I'll go to thickness and I'll give 0.1 meters uh, split thickness now the circular columns I'll say select beams parallel to Y and now this rectangle I'll give for this particular ring beam and this tie beam I'll say assign yes and the plate thickness I'll choose the plate cursor and I'll give to all the plates like this I've chosen all the plates and I'll say assign now let me remove this color for some time I'll say fill plates I've removed this check mark I'll say apply okay now let me go to supports I'll say create fix it now I'll choose all these numbers and say assign yes now let us give the loads for this we'll give the loads I'll say add and let us give sulfate first which is mandatory and then I'll give a plate load that is plate pressure of minus one kilonewton per square meter in the global y axis and I'll give the sulfate through the geometry cursor I'll choose the entire structure and say assign assign yes now the plate load we have to give on the plates so I'll take the plate cursor and choose all these plates and say assign assign yes now we have to multiply this load by 1.5 let me do that so I'll pick this and say add and I'll say load combination 1.5 times the first one I'll say add and say close so this combination number 2 is nothing but 1.5 times the load 1 I'll say analysis add and I'll say post print define commands we want the results only for this I'll give load list command say add I'll give analysis results add let me do the design also design concrete Indian code that is I'll pick IS456 let us give the parameters AFC I'll give 20,000 and say add close and let me go to commands I'll say design slab add close I'll drag this let us give FCK for all the plates or the members are plates that you wanted to design now design element there is no need to design all the elements it is enough if you design these elements and see how the steel will be or the amount of steel we get now let us run this problem and let us see the bending moments and the plate stresses and the design results now now these are the results for load combination number two let us see the summary and you can see the displacement maximum displacement in Y is 0.699 mm and if you see the place or if you see the location it is this particular point let me make this as isometric let us zoom it like this yeah now this is a point point 
0.699 that is minus because the deflection is downwards let me pick this now you can see so this point is having the highest deflection and the deflection we notice that it is less than one millimeter it's less than one millimeter it's 0.6 millimeters or 0.7 millimeters rather because of the shape of this structure because these plates are in a dome shape we get very less stresses and we get very less bending moments and so the steel will be nominal in the earlier problem we have seen the rectangular plate or the rectangular slab of 4 meters by 6 meters we got MX value as uh, approximately 5 kN meter per meter and uh, we got MY value like uh, almost 3 kN meter per meter but for this we will get almost in decimals but let us see that now now I'll go to results I'll say plate stress contour and this is combination number two and I'll say maximum one my say stresses now let me say apply and say close now this is the stress diagram and you can see the legend here we are getting the maximum stress around this ring beam or along this ring beam and the value is 0.831 is this value is the value over here and you can see that everything is symmetric which confirms that the problem what we have done is correct if you get any unsymmetric stress contour for a symmetric problem then you have to verify your geometry or the loading there must be some mistake somewhere so this is the stress diagram let us see the bending moment diagram the major bending moment let us see plate stress contour and then I'll pick MX here this is MY this is MX and say apply and you can see the value is in decimals that means almost there is absolutely no bending moment in the plates or we can say the bending moment is very very less in the plates and uh, we get highest bending moment here somewhere in the mid span if we take that the span is from this point to this point we get here as maximum bending and somewhere over here as maximum bending so this is how we get MX diagram and it is very very less and when the bending moment is very less naturally we get steel to the minimum that is we get only minimum steel 0.12 percent if it is star steel and 0.15 percent if it is mild steel now let me go to plate stress contour and pick MY and see for the bending moments in the minor axis so this is what you have these are the bending moments that we get so this are also very very less and we get maximum moment somewhere over here now for this let us see this concern steel now for this let us see the concern steel in the start output I'm going to start output here and say concrete design and you can see the longitudinal reinforcement and the transverse reinforcement is 96 millimeter square per meter that is 0.96 centimeter square per meter that means if you choose 6 mm bars the spacing will be 0 0.28 uh, divided by 0 0.96 multiplied by 100 it will be the spacing that is approximately 250 millimeters at 25 centimeters center to center will be the spacing of course you can go ahead with putting a 20 centimeters center to center on both sides so this is the steel that we're getting so everything is very very minimal earlier we got a bending moment we got some values here because the bending moment values here are truncated to the second decimal it's displayed as 0 0.00 of course here you can see it's 0 0.13 0 0.04 0 0.01 0 so all these are almost minimal either MX or MY are very very minimal that's why we got only the nominal steel or the nominal area of steel here so this is how we can analyze any structures like this and in the next problem we will see a circular flat plate on similar kind of structure in the next lesson mm -hmm.